Hey guys, Coach Hunter here with McKenzie talking about our second endpoint for the Kimura. Okay, so today we'll be talking about the arm bar or the straight arm lock. Uh, and really the uh, Kimura finish is the bent arm lock. So this is a straight arm lock or arm bar as it's commonly called uh, from the Kimura trap. Okay, uh, one of the main options we have and it ties together so well with all this stuff. And we can really go between all of these options just kind of from one to the other to the next depending on where we want to finish and what our opponent does as a reaction. We'll be getting to that as we get further down this series. So, can you hear? Once again, we're just going to do some basic finishes. And well, let's talk today about an, an alternate entrance, just for fun, for variety, on the uh, Kimura grip. So before, I was slicing in her elbow and going directly that way. So today, I'm going to start with a wrist grip instead. Instead of going from the underside uh, part of the grip, I'm going to start from the wrist grip. So my hand that's close to her legs is going to reach under and grip her wrist right here, pinning it to my chest, kind of hugging it in. But I'm not going to grip it super hard. I don't want to give this away, that this is something I really care about. I'm just kind of holding on to it for now. Okay, from here, I'm gonna circle around her head just like I did before. But I'm just gonna kind of, as I do, I'm gonna keep her hand connected to my chest, which is gonna elevate her wrist and keep it connected to me. So as I circle around, right here, I'm gonna be able to get tall and just punch my hand underneath. So I'm kind of keeping her arm connected to me right here. Okay, right there. As I come up a little bit, just enough to get that grip. One more time. Hand close to her legs, to reach underneath, grip palm up on her wrist, right here. Circling around to over her head, toward the arm I'm attacking. Pull it through and get my own grip, my this exact same camera grip I was before. Okay. Right there. Make sure I have my pinky line kind of pressure controlling right there, okay? So from here, instead of turning the corner and going power line, I'm just going to go ahead and step over her hips right here, okay? So stepping over her hips, I'm gonna sit down heavy, all of my body weight on that leg. So I'm kind of sitting with my foot curled in to her armpit or toward her face, okay? I'm sitting on the side on the side of my leg, okay? All of my weight goes there. The reason is that, so this leg can be light, okay? So I have a knee in the back of the head there. Right here. So I sit, step over, sit all my weight there. If I, my weight's on my leg, it's gonna be like, <laughs> really hard to get this leg across. And it usually will people fall back that way without throwing my leg over her face. And what's gonna happen is that she's gonna come up into my guard. Oh no. And now I've probably lost everything here. If not, I have to deal with her being on top, which I don't want. I was in dominant position, so let's stay there. So I've attained my Kimura grip. However we do that, I step over her legs. So I almost fall over myself, okay? Put all my weight on her belly or hips. Step over her leg. Head, leg, whatever, okay? Now we're not assuming she's getting any defensive grip here for now, just to simplify this. But there's a lot of options for um, my leg positioning, okay? So I could have my legs straight across, one in front of her face, one under her armpit. It could be both side by side on her face. It could be both side by side in her armpit. Okay, we could have crossed ankles, one way or the other. Doesn't really matter. So if any of those options are super viable. And a lot of it's gonna be preference and just kind of how you land. Um, for me, it doesn't matter too much. My preference overall is to have my legs, one armpit, one on face, okay? And I like to turn my heel in to the back of her head, my knee down, okay? Because one of the main things she's gonna try to do is come up and like get on top of me and stack, okay? So by turning my knee down, my heel out, if she tries to come up, it's really easy for me to stomp her head down, okay? Keep her control her posture, okay? In general though, uh, if her hands are not connected, all I need to do is pinch my knees together. Super important guys, that my knees pinch together tight, okay, from the beginning, while I'm seated all the way up, okay? My heels are curled in, a very, very common mistake to see at all levels of fighting and in jiu-jitsu, well, not all levels, at beginning levels of fighting in jiu-jitsu, um, is to straighten 
my legs out. They kind of extend, and you can see I fall all the way to the mat now. My legs are straight, and I have to really try to arch my hips, and it's gonna be hard. Like, if she was fighting that, it'd be tough to finish, okay? Um, it's just a bad look. It's not good, okay? So really pinching my knees together, my heels curl in like I'm doing a hamstring curl. Okay, so you ever wonder what that machine at the gym is where you're like, put your legs in, you're like, shh, shh. Those you know it's an armbar machine, okay? That's what it's there for. I don't think it is, but that's what I use it for. My knees pinch together nice and tight, my heels curl in, that's a hamstring curl, okay? I, I just have to hug her arm. You don't necessarily have to hold it, you can, but I just kind of hug here, okay? Now there's a thought that the uh, hand, like the thumb, I got a thumbs up, should be pointing directly perpendicular to me, like to the ceiling when I fall back here. I think if you're, everything is super tight, it doesn't matter that much, uh, to be honest. Like, I've never felt an armbar where I'm like, oh, you're, my thumb's not up, so it's not, if everything else is correct, it's not gonna work. But if you want to get that point, you can get like a nice like a bro handshake and then turn your hand so its thumb is pointed directly perpendicular to me or to the ceiling when I fall back. I don't think it matters that much. I just tend to hug. If you're in a gi, you can grab your own collar. Okay, everything pinches, everything nice and tight. So when I fall, I'm not getting anywhere near the floor by the time she finishes. Contrast that to loose legs all the way on the mat, right? And I have to kind of really arch to get anything, okay? Now, um, the next thing to think about, guys, is when they get a defensive grip, okay? A lot of options here. Um, we're starting off with our Kimura grip, it looks like this. Um, if it's just hand to hand, a lot of times people are gonna stomp their foot into the elbow through that grip. I like to use the leg on the body side because if I take my foot off here, I no longer have the ability to stop her from coming up, right? So I would keep this leg to control her posture and this leg to stomp in the elbow. You can also reach across from the far elbow and pull it in, collecting both arms and taking both with me. Sounds good to me, okay? Whatever one gets hyperextended first, I'll take. Usually it's this one though, okay? So um, if she has a deeper grip, like a bicep grip, figure four grip, then this is a different animal altogether. This is a lot tougher to deal with, okay? Uh, real in brief, I slide my hands through, I get the Kimura grip, okay? I get wrist to wrist on her wrist, and I pull through to finish. You can also just try to like, hit this elbow and knock it loose. So she just kind of like relax for a second or cross your leg over the top and work like a bicep slicer type pressure, which usually lets them make them let go. If they don't, go ahead and keep your, keep your grip. You get this bicep slicer. Oh, you know, she wants to let go because it hurts. Um, but yeah, you can get a tap there too, okay? And then of course, all the same finishes for the arm bar. And I'll just run through it all together. A couple times. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I think the arm bar is super important because it is the most commonly finished submission. So anything you can do to kind of perfect your arm bar technique should be used. Connecting to that from other places like the Kimura Trap is a great way to lead in and get a good option there. So guys, as always, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you on the mats. Thank <laughs> you.